Kind of a scrappy banger to start things off, Mead, and we know that JP Bays was originally supposed to be fighting Gaston Bolanos, but Bolanos has pulled out, and in steps the fighter from Arizona, Maniac McGee, Marcus McGee, 7-1, who, despite being a short-notice fighter, is a minus 375 favorite in this one against JP Bays, and the line opened up around minus 200, but there have been a lot of heavy hammers coming off Maniac McGee, and it makes sense. I mean, we saw his debut just a couple months ago. It was against Journey Newsom, and while Journey does put the Journey in Journey Man and has been getting slept a lot, Maniac McGee made it look pretty easy and got that beautiful second round finish, really made Newsom quit in that one. So it was a great debut from Maniac McGee, and this is a guy who's just been itching to get his shot for a long time, and when he did, he capitalized. So I'm curious to see if even on short notice, off the streets essentially, and at a 140-pound catch weight, is he going to have enough to take out J.P. Bays, who has lost three straight? He's been getting smoked, and in a lot of those recent fights, I think most concerning is how many times J.P. Bays gets dropped. I mean, this guy seemingly gets dropped multiple times in every fight, and most recently it kind of culminated with an easy 58-second light work finish for Cody Durden, who is known more of as a grinder wrestler as opposed to a one-punch stiffener. So in this one, Meat Boy, do you see any potential dog value in J.P. Bays? Are you J.P. buying the hype, or is Maniac McGee going to get this one done easy work as well? Yeah, you know, so I feel a little bad for Mr. Buys. First, his girl got swooped. Now his soul is about to get taken, and he's getting sent to BKFC, which is truly unfortunate because the young savage was once potentially a young savage, but just not no more. Um, uh, Marcus McGee, the maniac man himself, is an absolute killer. There's no way this fight gets out of the first round, let alone the first minute. You already know what I'm hammering. Um, McGee is a lock. Uh, I think, and I think he gets it done early and often. I'm playing the props, that is for sure. Yeah, I feel you on that. There just isn't a lot of, you know, uh, money line value. I mean, around minus 400, all the unknowns. I mean, again, Mayak McGee looked great during his debut, but we haven't really seen him against uh, too, too tough of competition. And JP Bays, like you said, was a savage at one point. I mean, you got to remember, this guy picked up a win over Christian Rodriguez, a.k.a. C-Rod, who is a guy we have a lot of respect for. So at one point, J.P. Bays did have a lot of hype, but you kind of touched on it. It just really has uh, evaporated quickly. But if you look at Tapology, 92% is pretty bullish on Maniac McGee. It's basically all brown for that KO, and only 8% is rolling with J.P. Are you taking the Maniac KO? Any chance he gets a sub, or do you just like some sort of early and often finish for Maniac? I think uh, any kind of finish early and often. I think it'll be very early, though. Um, Maniac is an absolute savage. I mean, his last three fights, K TKO, TKO, and submission. They are second, third, and third round. But if you buy it is, I mean, like you said earlier, his chin is sus. So I think he'll be put down pretty early and often. Um, and also... It's very interting because, you know, Maniac's a 140-er. JP Baez is a natural 125-er. So him bulking up a good amount is going to be interesting to see. So that's something to keep in mind, too. Um, so I, if I had to say f fade the minus 400 and play some props. Yeah, I'm with you all the way. I'm taking Maniac McGee in this one. I guess the only thing that brings me some sort of pause is, again, I like it at 140. I think that that's actually going to favor Maniac McGee, but J.P. Bays is a pretty solid wrestler, and the last time we saw McGee lose was to Rafael de, uh, Nascimento, and Nascimento was kind of able to take Maniac McGee down with ease. I mean, he was throwing some kicks, and Nascimento was catching him, taking him down, so if J.P. Bays is maybe able to get in early and often takedown in each round, then Perhaps he can control him on the map, but I don't know, because Maniac looked pretty competent down there as well against Journeyman Newsom. So I'm with you. Going to take Maniac McGee. I like him by finish, but with you all the way, the minus 400 just is not worth it for me. But for me, boy, Maniac's a pick all the way. Any last thoughts? 100% agree there. Throw in the comments who you taking and why. Smash the subscribe, check out the other videos.